everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and welcome back to another tiny house speed build. Today we're building a tiny house for eight sims, for a family of eight. I wanted to see if it would be possible, so that's what we're doing. That's our challenge for today. This is technically a small house because with the new Sims 4 tiny living system you can set your house to be a tiny home residential and then there's three different tiers that you can do so i went for the biggest tier which is the small home so your house can have a hundred tiles no more so a hundred maximum and i actually used all hundred we have a tiny little porch that is like five tiles i think but the rest 95 tiles are all in the house and all in good use and I actually made it work. The layout and the floor plan is not like my best work, but it works. You can fit eight sims in here. Your family of eight can have a tiny house, which I think is awesome. And this house looks really good. If I say so myself, I think it turned out really, really cute. So I'm really excited about this house and I hope you guys like it. I haven't been posting that many builds on my channel over the past year, but this pack has really got me back into building. I always loved building and tiny houses are always my favorite. So the new pack has just, I don't know, it's just really got me into building again, which is bad because if you guys know, I have had some issues with my wrist and my hand hurting from just using the mouse too much and builds are like literally the worst <laughs> they break my hand in like half an hour so i should not be doing them every day but i don't know every once in a while in like small sections i can build some houses so i really wanted to try this one and we're actually building this in the new world brightchester which came with university which is our newest world in the sims 4 I just wanted to find a tiny lot. I think this one is 20 times 15. So it's the smallest lot we have in The Sims. I wanted to use a small lot because I didn't want the house to look small in like a big lot and really out of place. So we're building here. I think this is where the starter house was for Brightchester. I think our house costs about 50 or 60 thousand Simoleons, so it's not a starter house, but it's not super expensive because it is very very small I don't know if you could call this a tiny house even though I'm going to but technically it's just a small house And as you can see I have placed hundred tiles out of the hundred for this tier Which I was quite impressed that I managed to use every single one in the perfect way I had three extra tiles that I didn't know what to do with and then I figured I would extend the big room downstairs where the window was and it added like the extra space that I desperately needed to make the layout work so I don't know I just think this house turns out really cute it's quite simple I'm going for like a black and white color scheme outside and downstairs I do introduce a little bit of color in the end I'm going for like this teal color scheme because black and white for a family house was just a little bit too plain I wanted it to have a little bit more life to it so I do add some color in in the end but outside I wanted to keep it really quite simple I tried adding in like flower boxes and stuff which I really like on windowsills but I just thought it wasn't what this house needed so I kept it quite plain so yeah this is the inside and yeah that's the bathroom in the middle of the first floor I know it's not the most ideal <laughs> location Honestly, I spent quite a long time on this floor plan. I cut it out of the video because I did not know what I was doing. And I could not fit it anywhere else. So the bathroom is in the middle of the first floor. It is what it is. And I actually was gonna put the kitchen back here, but as you just saw, I changed it and moved it to the left side, which worked so much better because I could put a couch in this little corner nook perfectly and then on this wall I was able to put our TV we also have three armchairs here so you have seating for six sims out of the eight so you can't have your entire family watching TV at the same time unless two of them stand but I think that's still okay for a small house I don't think I could realistically put in like eight dining chairs and eight seats in front of the TV so yeah, in the kitchen we have the dining table here and I do only have four chairs. So 
four slims can eat together at the table and if everybody wants to eat somebody has to eat by the couch or something i did make a toddler room in here so maybe the toddlers wouldn't be sitting at the table wait that's only, that's still six sims. Okay, four sims have to sit somewhere else. Okay, it just was not possible adding in eight chairs and like a bigger dining table. It was never gonna work. And then here I actually put in some more kitchen counters because I really wanted to have a microwave in here. I thought it would be perfect for this like busy household of eight with toddlers and kids and everything. So we have a microwave underneath the TV, kind of weird, but it works. And I also put in a stereo. And then this is the parent's bedroom. So the main bedroom. It's pretty small. There's not that much in here. You can use the bed. Everything I play tested, I think everything. I didn't play test toddler things because I didn't have a toddler in my household. So I'm hoping they all work. I think everything should work in here, but I'm not a hundred percent. But I do put in a desk in here, a small one tile desk with a computer. So one of the parents can work in here as well in this tiny little room. It's not the best, but you know, it works. And then we have the bed and we have a mirror and we have the tiny dresser from Tiny Living next to the bed. That's kind of like a nightstand. It went in there perfectly. I was so happy about that. So that's the main bedroom. And this is where I realized, yeah, this house is a little bit too black and white. It looks too clean for a family of eight. Like it's just, it's too plain. So I go in with the rugs and some clutter and add in a lot more color in here. Like I said, you can see the teal there. It also comes with its other rug and some of these armchairs. And then I'm gonna be putting in some wall decor that also has the color. And you just saw me place the bin, I did not forget. It did fit there and your sims can walk past it. <laughs> it's like the smallest little bin, but it works, it works. And then love the new paintings from Tiny Living. I'm using them there next to the door and then also upstairs in the teenager's bedroom. But also love those paintings. Don't remember where they're from, but they win with the color scheme perfectly. And yeah, upstairs we have three bedrooms. This house is insane because it is so small and it has four bedrooms four bedrooms each for two sims so that makes it an eight sim house uh yeah here's the clutter that i added in i really like it i wanted to make it a little bit more homely so i feel like i did that okay oh yeah and this is the bathroom so it's a three by two and i wanted to add in a bathtub because your sims need to bathe the toddlers and you need a bathtub not a shower for that so I think it should work. I, again, I did not test the toddler stuff, but I think there's enough space. My sim was able to use the shower just fine and the toilet. And I put in the potty in there as well. And this bathroom turned out really cute. It is really white. Again, maybe not the best for like a big family, but I just, I was committed to this color scheme, but you can see a lot of teal here on the first floor. There's a lot more color upstairs with the kids' bedrooms. But yeah, I added in so much clutter in here because I put in these two shelves. I was able to put in towels and just different little bathroom clutter items, which I really liked. And then obviously this rug, which is like my favorite bathroom rug. I think it's from Sims 4 Parenthood. I love it. And then moving on upstairs, oh my goodness, we have three bedrooms. They're very, very small, just letting you guys know. This is for the kids. So I designed it, one for the kids, one for the toddlers, and then one for the teenagers. Obviously you can change them around. They don't have that much decor because they're very small rooms. So if you have a different kind of family, you can easily redecorate this. But this room, like all of them has two beds. And then I thought, let me put in one of these little kids drawing tables in here because I don't know, just something more to do. Did not test that one either. Again, I only had an adult in the family. They cannot use the drawing tables, but I mean, I didn't use like anything like move or I didn't use move objects on or hold down the alt key when I put it there. So I'm hoping your child will be able to reach the chair. I really hope so. But the beds, both of them work currently in the state that they are in. And I put in some shelves with some toys and 
curtains and I used the cute little um what is it called a turtle rug I forgot what pack it's from but it's one of the best rugs for kids rooms it is my all-time favorite oh yeah and I do change the wallpaper up here in all these rooms they all have different wallpaper well a different swatch of the same wallpaper which is from parenthood it's one of my favorite wallpapers this one has weaves on it I thought it was really really cute and this rug oh my god this rug is from my first pet self everyone hates that pack but it's such a cute rug I am obsessed with it I also tried making these rooms quite gender neutral so it doesn't matter if you have girls or boys I know this room is quite blue but honestly I don't think blue is such a boy color like you would think pink is more of a girl color I think you could easily have girls in here that really like the color blue this is the toddler's room it's actually a little bit bigger and the toddler beds are smaller so I had a little bit more space to work with so we have one of those toy chests in here your kids and toddlers can play and then I put in this cute bookshelf and a little poof chair for either the mom or the toddlers to sit on and then these flower rugs which are again really really cute and this room has the yellow wallpaper I thought it went in really well with the color on the beds and the toy chest as well and then oh yeah I'm adding in like a little bit more clutter and paintings in here I think this room is really cozy and again did not test it but I mean it should work it seems like there's definitely enough space and then lastly we have this room which is the biggest of the rooms upstairs this is for the teenagers again tried making it gender neutral with white and blue as the color scheme and in here we have actually a desk with two computer chairs and two computers on it so their laptops so your teenagers can take them and put them in their inventory and then do their homework up here so if there's I don't space downstairs because it's a very small house they can do their homework up here and they can also use their computers for schoolwork or playing video games or whatever they want to I also think I added in did I add in a dresser I think I just went for a mirror and like a little side table like these curtains from city living yeah it's a side table a small one with how did I, what did i put on it i think like a notebook but i put in this like tiny little book item on the desk so it works as a bookshelf too and then yeah here is again the new painting from tiny living with the leaves on it i love that one a lot and I really cluttered up this desk here I think it looks really good in the end but I just really wanted to add a lot of clutter to the teenagers room I also feel like that rug was a little bit too much like this room was just a little bit much so I do end up changing the rug I take that one out and I just add in like a simple gray round rug underneath the desk and I think it looks a lot better and yeah we changed the wallpaper as well this one has clouds I thought it went perfectly with those beds like it's just neat to go together and then I came back downstairs realized there was no nothing on the wall in this room so I added in those paintings or like those little drawings that the kids made above the parents bed I thought like is that weird because obviously that's an item that you would put in a kid's room but I wanted to put it in the parents room they really were proud of the drawing their kids made and they hang them up above their bed and then I put in a swing set outside which I'm not sure if I've ever used in a build so I was quite excited about that and then since we are in Brightchester and bikes came with Sims 4 University I added in four bikes outside I could have added it added in eight but I felt like it would have looked really weird with eight bikes outside so if you want you can buy more even more bikes for your family but there's four four you can use and then I'm just doing a little bit of landscaping again keeping to like the gray white black color scheme out here so just adding in some white flowers etc and we have some birch trees on the lot too and that is pretty much the build done I think it turned out really cute it's like the first small house I built because I did a micro house and a tiny house already but I hadn't done a small house with the new tier system so I was really excited to do it and I think it turned out really really cute so if you guys want to download this house it will be up on the gallery 
where you can find it under my username, which is EliandraYT, or also if you look under the hashtag Eliandra. If you guys enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more builds on the channel or what kind of videos you are looking for and what you thought about this house. But I really hope you guys play in this because I really hope it works the way I imagined it and it can just have like a really fun eight sim family in here. So yeah, I'm really excited. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I also hope you're having a great day. And I will see you guys very soon for another video. Thanks for watching and bye.